Huh. Well, didn't expect to be back here anytime soon. Good morning, everybody. It's Midnight and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Pokemon Emerald. Slash the finale of Pokemon Emerald. Slash the beginning of my Let's Play of Pokemon Delta Emerald. Slash whatever the heck this thing is that I have no idea how it's going to get put together because I have not gotten that far yet. But it'll all work out in the end, hopefully. This is going to be a continuation of my Pokemon Emerald Let's Play. If you didn't know, at the end of my Emerald Let's Play, I did not fight the champion of the Elite Four. Instead, I transitioned over to the uh, champion in Pokemon Alpha Sapphire for the 3DS, and I fought the champion in that game. Because I want to show off the after game in Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, as well as the after game stuff in Emerald. Plus, I thought that the final boss in Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire was just a lot more epic than the final boss of Emerald. Because if you don't know, Steven Stone is only the champion in Ruby or Sapphire. In Emerald, however, our champion is a lot less interesting and a lot less of a climactic finale. But we gotta face him one way or another, so without further ado, let's get this started. Welcome, Jeffrey. That incident in Sutopolis City, that was superb work putting an end to that crisis all by yourself. Oops, it wouldn't be fair to say that you alone ended the crisis. You overcame that difficult situation by working as one with your Pokémon. We trainers raise Pokémon by giving them items and by teaching them new techniques for battle. But we ourselves also learn many things from Pokémon, and this is where your achievements are put to the test against what others like you have achieved. Now. Who can most elegantly dance with their Pokemon in Hoenn? Show me right here, and now! This is the final battle in Pokemon Emerald against Wallace. Originally, he was the 8th gym leader in Hoenn, which you would fight in Sutopolis City, but he wound up getting replaced with Juan, and now he is the champion of Hoenn instead of Steven. A very big downgrade in my opinion. I guess it's sort of fitting that a Water-type champion would be the champion of the very water-heavy game. But considering the 8th gym leader was also water type, it's just really boring and dumb and lame and I don't like it. So I really don't like Wallace and that's sort of the main reason why I wanted to have that surprise twist ending in my Emerald Let's Play at the beginning. Because I didn't want to end off with this dude as our final battle. But we gotta fight him one way or another so let's get things started. He's gonna start off with Wailord. Yeah, he's got his own happy whale on his side of course, but not any match for my happy whale. But we're going to start off with Trico because Trico is actually very useful for this boss fight because all his Pokemon are water types so I could actually take advantage of my unevolved starter Pokemon. And he's going to use Blizzard right off the bat. I was hoping he was going to miss with that, but of course he doesn't. Now if I could somehow magically survive this. Oh, what a great way to start. Wonderful. What a wonderful world. Alright, buddy, if you want a battle of the happy whales, then that's what you're gonna get. Go ahead and use Hyper Beam. I don't know whose whale is using what. So, as you can see, who's better? Of course, it's gonna be my happy whale that will reign supreme in the end. He's using Double Edge. And goes and does that. Uh, he does do some extra damage to himself, which I very much appreciate, but I don't like having to wait two turns to get back around. Uh, go ahead and lose that HP. Oh god, that looks really bad. Uh, I really want to keep Wailord for this fight, so we're going to go ahead and use ourselves a full restore. And let's see what he's got next. He's going to keep on using Double Edge most likely. If I could get him to use his full restore on this turn, that would also be very nice because uh, having him use it for other Pokemon would not be very pleasant. So I'm going to go ahead and use a revive now on Trico. Just to get him back in the game because I think he will be very use he will be very useful for this fight. It's just a matter of knowing the right place and time for it. And okay, he's definitely going to be using his full restore now. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to switch to Trico during this point. It'd be very awkward if he just went ahead and used an attack because it's like, oh, you're low on HP, so I'm going to go ahead and beat you. Uh, no, he's going ahead with the full restore like I thought. So we could go ahead and do that, and Trico could get his HP back with the power of Giga Drain. Let's go ahead and do that, see if we could take him down. I doubt it'll take him down one hit, but we could always hope. 
At the very least, I wanted him to get all of his HP back. That is not going to do it. Oh, maybe. Well, did a lot more than I thought it was going to do. Uh, using double edge. My god. Oh, Trico, can you survive that? Oh, it's going so quick. Oh, I survived it. Cool. Now, I just need to go ahead and use Giga Drain again. Suck up all that HP. And he's probably going to use a crummy attack like Surf because he thought he was going to take me down. Or he doesn't even get the chance. Very, very nice. So down goes Waylord. That was very sinking awesome. Get that experience for Trico and Waylord. He's now going to send out Milotic. Milotic is his strongest Pokemon. So I'm going to send out Hariyama. I assume that he's sending out because it has Ice Beams. So Trico and Swallow would not be good for this. Let's go with Hariyama. It might have something like Light Screen or Reflect on its side. So Brick Break will be able to take care of that in case it does so. Uh, the most elegant Pokemon of all time. It's a stinking pain in the butt to evolve one of these things. And to catch a Feebas in general. Uh, thankfully, I didn't have to put up with that because I wasn't interested in catching them all. I just want to catch a team that I'm close to and go through the entire world with them. Uh, let's go with Brick Break. It's going Toxic. Hmm. Does Hariyama have... No, it has Thick Fat for its ability. If I had Guts for the ability, that would be really good because it would increase my attack power. But that is not the case. Uh, okay, wow, that was actually pretty good damage. And he's going for a Citrus Berry. Do I have Guts for the ability? Like, that just seems like unnaturally good damage for my standards. Because I'm always used to, like, not having that much damage done. Uh, let's go ahead and check, just because I'm curious. And because it's been so stinking long, it's... Oh, I do have Guts for the ability. Okay, so you just helped me out, Milo Tick. Thank you for that. It's very good that you did that. Go ahead and use your little Surf. See if I care, which I don't. Unfortunately, I don't have any other healing items besides full restores, so I can't really um, heal Hariyama without using, uh, without getting rid of the poison. Though it's badly poisoned thanks to Toxic, so no matter how many times I heal it, it's going to go down eight turns or less. Try to learn Seismic Toss. Seismic Toss, as epic as they make it look in the anime, is actually not that great. It does damage equal to the user's level, so it always do 51 damage for me. So, I'm not interested in that. It's weird that they make it look so epic in the anime, but it's actually just really crummy. <laughs> Sorry, Charizard, you're not all that great. Up next is Whiskash. We're going to go ahead and switch to Trico because it is quad weak to grass, so that's going to be super duper helpful. Trico, Trico, Trico! Uh, he could use something like... I have no idea. I've had a couple of play recordings of this, so and he's used different moves every time, so I don't know what he's going to be doing. I'm just going to go ahead and try and get some free heals with Giga Drain. Thankfully, I'm faster than it. I don't think it's going to take it down in one hit, but at least I'll get fully healed from it. Uh, we got ourselves good damage. As long as I can survive whatever he's sending out next, we'll be good to go. Hyper Beam! Oh boy, Trico, can you survive a Hyper Beam from a Whiskash? Let's find out! And... Oh, he did! Wow, way to go, Trico. Just go ahead and suck up that HP. And we are good. Alright, things are going a bit better than they were last time, so let's see if we can keep it up, though. His next Pokemon's Tentacruel. Tentacruel's a very annoying Pokemon to deal with. I'm gonna go with... Huh. We'll take advantage of that poison and just send up Hariyama again, I guess. Do not want to keep Trico up because it is a uh, water poison type, so it won't be able to uh, be super effective with grass attacks. And I believe it has a... It might have Liquid Ooze for its ability, which means if I try to use an Absorption attack, it will... Uh, do more damage to me, and it'll do damage to me instead of heal me, so that's not good. Go and use Fake Out. Might be kind of a dumb idea to waste a turn, but it's still powered up with the Guts ability, so that's good. I just got to survive this, thank you. I wonder if the Toxic stacking got reset because I switched out, I'm not sure about that. Uh, now I'm gonna use Brick Break. Uh, I don't think- oh wait, Poison does resist. Uh, yeah, it does resist. I should have done double edge. Okay, if I could survive this, then I'll go ahead and try and use double edge, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Uh, yeah, it's unfortunate. Like, remember right at the last second. It's always one of those weird typings that, you, like, you never remember that poison, uh, resist fighting. I have no idea. I guess because you can't punch poison in the face, I guess? I don't know. Uh, let's see, Swallow. Let's see if we can use Return. I remember Solo being super useful throughout the majority of this adventure, just having a lot of great moments. Let's see if we can continue that trend. Yes, you can. And his next Pokemon is going to be Ludicolo. Hooray! Unfortunately, it's not owned by me or B, so I don't really care. It's not as awesome as that one. So we're just going to keep Swallow out. And here goes the little dance. Yeah, not as great as a 3D model render, but whatever. 
Gonna have Swallow use Fly. And it's gonna go ahead and use Double Team. Hopefully it won't be too terrible. Swallow goes down, use Fly, and... Can I get a Magical Critical? Of course not. Oh, he's gonna be a Double Team Spammer. Hooray. Well, I don't have the ability to hit it no problem because I don't have Aerial Ace anymore, so... Just sort of have to hope for the best. I know, uh, yeah, Return to the World of Pokemon, I keep on saying hope for the best. And he's using Surf. Ugh. Oh, jeez. Okay, let's go and use Fly. I don't care if I have a chance, if he has a chance of double teaming once again. He's not gonna do it. Can I get lucky with an extra f cool Fly? Yes, I can! Awesome! So down goes Ludicolo. I think he has one more Pokemon now. Oh my god, and of course it's a Gyarados. Okay, let's see what we can do. I'll go with Salabi. Gyarados is always a stinking pain in the butt to deal with because its awkward water flying type makes it only weak to electric, and as usual, I never seem to have an electric type on my team. I don't know, like, I've never actively wanted to use a Pikachu on my team. I know a lot of people only ever want to use Pikachus on their team because of the anime, but I was never one of those people. It's not that I dislike Pikachu, it's just that I, like, I've even tried using it on teams in previous games and I almost never actually get it to the end of the game. Not that it's difficult to use, just that I don't get attached. But whatever, we're just gonna see what we can do with this thing. It's Intimidate, unfortunately, cuts Salvi's attack in half, but that isn't really bothersome to uh, Salvi in the first place, because we're just setting up, really. Let's try another Shadow Ball. If we can lower Special Defense some more, that'll be even more useful. Thank you, Salabi, way to go. Up next, we're gonna do Shadow Ball again. Oh, you stand up if you're not ready, Surf. Uh, Salabi might go down. Oh, 4 HP! Salabi, you're the best. Uh, unfortunately, can't take this thing down, uh, because Ghost still counts as a physical attack, so that is kind of bad for us. And down goes Salabi. Let's go again. We can't use Trico because, uh, the flying subtype makes it not that weak to grass attacks. Torkoal obviously is a no-go, but the defense is good. But it's still a, f it's still a water type, so... Uh, Swallow, hopefully it'll just be faster than it, it can do some damage. I'll go with Return. And oh, go you surf. Uh, and there goes Swallow. Okay, should be able to take it out. I don't know who's faster though. So we have uh, this is really good odds because I don't really know who's gonna work with this. Come on, Trico, can you be? Oh, you have a full restore? Are you serious? I think you ran out of them. Ugh. Okay, they have two full restores, or was that? The third one? I don't even remember, but like, they definitely used one, so I thought they were done. Of course, I should have expected that. Uh, so that's kind of bad, because uh, Whaler wouldn't have been faster. Torkoal and Trico are going to die to this thing in one second, so... Uh, we need to start reviving some people. Don't really feel any shame using items that- Oh, you hung out with one HP! Trico, you're the best! Oh, but yeah, um, don't feel any shame using items in this fight. Even in the Steven fight, it is stinking insane how difficult it is. But whatever, we already conquered that fight in another dimension, so there's no doubt that, we can, that we'll be able to defeat this guy as well. And he'll take out Trico with just 1 HP, but you did a good job, buddy. Now, I can never remember if using a full restore, does that restore, like, lowered stats back to normal as well? I know that's, uh, gets rid like undone if you switch Pokemon out, but there's no way of seeing, at least not in the newer games or older games, uh, how high or low your stats are. Oh, Dragon Dance! Oh, uh, Dragon Dance is the bane of my existence. I think it was in Coliseum, was it? It was Coliseum or some other game where, or maybe it was even just a failed recording. I don't know, maybe it just like had very painful memories of fighting this guy. We kept on using Dragon Dance and made this Gyarados pretty much invincible. Uh, I was really hoping we wouldn't see that, but whatever. The Whale Lord is unfortunately not that well equipped to deal with a, a water type, but water flying type makes it no longer resistant to water. <laughs> not like it matters. It's gonna use Ice Beam, of course, not Torkoal. The only time to shine when it uh, has to stall with recharging. Let's go ahead and use Sludge Bomb. I guess if we could get poison, that'd be great. I don't have to worry about it anymore. If, like, we'll just eventually go down if we just hang out. Yeah, thank you, Torkoal! Oh my god, thank you, thank you, thank you. 
Now we just gotta stick it out for a little while longer. That sounded very gross and suggestive. Are you have another full restore? Are you serious? I mean, he's thinking, was that three or four? Like, either way, it's the ridiculous. I didn't think he had three. Oh my god. I know, like, the champion and Fire and Leaf Green are just like. I feel like multiple trainers of Fire Red and Leaf Green have three full restores, but, like, what the fruit? I didn't think this guy had him. Ugh! Great. Down goes Torkoal. Uh, the poison's gone too. We only have Salabi. He can't beat in one hit, though. We gotta revive some people, unfortunately. Swell is definitely faster, but Waylord has that HP for defense, and Trico is good for just being a meat shield. Uh, so I have too many good choices for, like, defense, but not enough good choices for offense. Uh, oh. Let's go with uh, our only option. Go with Trico. Uh, I can't even do this because, like, I need to have it so I don't die within a, a single turn because I can't just keep on reviving over and over and not have any actual progress being done. I need at least, like, two turns of healing in order to actually make a counterattack. Because all my guys keep on going down in one stinking hit, and I don't have any stinking max revives, I don't think. But even if I do, I don't want to use them yet, because we got after game stuff to do. This is all we're doing in this uh, side series, is an after game stuff. Uh, go with Swellow. Uh, let's go Earthquake, god darn it. Not sure what I was expecting, but... yeah. The thing is, like, Waylord went down one hit too, though, right? That's why I'm not, like super gun-ho about sending it out, and I kind of want to counter with Waylord, so... Um... Go with Torkoal again, I guess? I don't know. Uh, we're going with Surf. Surf is surfy. Come on, Swell, can you hang that in there? Oh, of course not. This is bad. This is really bad. If I just run out of revives and... I don't want to have to redo this fight! This is not how the return to Hone was supposed to be. Uh, Hariyama, you're a beefy beefcake, you do this right. Even though it's a flying type, it never has any actual flying type moves, so it can never actually benefit from it, aside from, uh, counterattacks, I guess. Uh, down goes Torkoal. Hariyama, you're up next. Uh, I really don't have- I wish one of my Pokemon had Intimidate. I, I get free damage, I guess, it's always nice. I- I was thinking, like, maybe I could just revive Hariyama a million times and have him use Fake Out over and over until he takes it down, but now that'd be terrible. Uh, let's see, Earthquake. Come on, Hariyama, you can survive this. Come on, you're so beefy. So beefy! So beefy! Oy. How do I even win this? Oh my god. I guess I could revive Waylord multiple times, but I don't want to. Um, I don't feel like I have any other choice. I will just try this one more time, maybe. Uh, oh wait, also I just came to the conclusion that he could just run out of earthquakes at this point. That's a very cheap way to win by just making him struggle himself to death. I'm not trying to make him struggle to death, I just wanted to get stop using earthquake, because then if no earthquake, that means I could use, like, Swellow, I could use Torkoal, maybe, I could use a uh, Waylord and Trico, I don't know. Just stop doing it, bruh. I very much appreciate it if he just ran out of PP eventually. I can never remember if Earthquake has 10 or 15. I think it has 10. Uh, let's see. Waylord, what do you got, buddy? Still need to heal, though, because I can't just rely on a single Pokemon. Need to have some backup. Uh, I got 13 revives to burn from, so... Mm, who do I choose? I don't know. I guess for Hariyama for free damage, but there's no really good choice. I just need someone to stink and survive this. Can you be the chosen one, Waylord? No. Uh, I thought I thought he would be able to survive an earthquake at least, but that was just Hyper Beam that took it out. Oh my god. So I really do have to just hang in there until it runs out of earthquakes. This is like Cynthia level of annoying, uh, like abusing the system level of obnoxiousness. I was not expecting- I was expecting to have a fight like this at some point in my Pokemon LP in career, but I didn't think it would be with stinking Wallace, of all people, after I was being so stupid before, being like, Oh, Wallace is the worst character ever, he's so lame and stupid and dumb, I don't like him. And then he ends up kicking my stinking butt. I was expecting that for Cynthia, but not Wallace. Uh, yeah. This is why I didn't want to fight you, Wallace. This is why I switched over to the 3DS version, because not only are, are you not as cool as Steven, but you're also a pain in the stinking booty, and you really shouldn't be. 
Oh my god, I think he has um, Juan's team in Ruby and Sapphire as a gym leader. It's like the exact same team. I could be wrong on that, but it's still really annoying. Let's see. Go with Revive Torkoal, I guess. Because Torkoal's got those, that paralysis and poison on his side, but oh my god, he needs to actually survive a turn and go first, which isn't going to happen. But maybe with a counterattack? He is just low on HP, as long as he doesn't heal up stinking fifth time at this point, I don't know. Then we should be good to go. Go and use Sludge Bomb, use your recharge, or yeah, use your recharge. Come on, we can take it out, get poison, get poison, 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 poison. Oh my god, please don't use another full restore. Who's Trico, I guess? Because he's quick. He had another full restore. Are you serious? Is that even legal? He had five full restores? You have five or four? Either way, it's stinking ridiculous. That should not be allowed. Uh, says the guy who's like reviving a million singing times, I know, but still, this guy's a pain in the neck. Got rid of, he's like so much of a pain in the booty that the booty's already gone from being in so much pain, now it's a pain in the neck. Ugh. Using Hyper Beam, I can always get in the counterattack though, which is nice. Hariyama, I guess strength would be better than Fake Out, but I don't know, critical hit. Uh, as if it's really needed. So, is he out of water attacks though? He's not using that, like even when Torque will get sent out. I guess it's weak to ground and water, so it doesn't matter. Uh, I don't really know. I'll go with another revive. We're running out of them. Getting real down to the wire here. Oh boy, what do we got? Hyper Beam. So he doesn't seem to have any more earthquakes, which is nice. But he's only using Hyper Beam. Any sort of water attack he has is just not being used. I didn't think he ran out of it. Maybe he just doesn't want to. I guess uh, Trico and Whaler would resist it, so maybe not. I don't know. Ice Beam. If I could freeze this thing, my god, we'd be in the bag. Can I remember? Now you can freeze water types. I don't see why not, because it's water. It gets frozen. But of course, it won't happen to me, because that would make too much sense. Not much sense, but like, it would be too beneficial for me. We can't have that. Uh, we got Dragon Dance. Oh yeah, that was the other attack. Oh my god. So, is he out of Hyper Beam as well? Does he not have a water attack? Or like, he's just not using it because he doesn't see the benefit? Uh, well, that's really singing terrifying, that's for sure, but like, it's not like he actually needs it because he's taking us down one hit anyway. Oh wait, no, it was Rayquaza who was using the Dragon Dance that made it super difficult. Yeah, okay, it was this game all along. Ay, Dragon Dance just coming back to haunt me. Yeah, there's Surf, okay, so I think he's out of attacks. He can only use Surf, so... It was a very cheap victory, a very cheap return to Generation 3, but I wouldn't have it any other way! And with that... We have defeated the champion of Emerald's Pokemon League. And I got a level up! Champion Wallace was defeated. I, the champion, fall in defeat! That was wonderful work. You were elegant, infuriatingly so, with all those revives. And yet it was utterly glorious. Kudos to you, Jeffrey. You know how to play. You are truly a noble Pokemon trainer, whatever you say, buddy. Yeah, you know I don't like Wallace because I don't even bother to give him a voice actor at this point in time. The Pokemon you sent into battle. At times they danced like a spring breeze, and at times they struck like lightning. It was with light, yet s it was- what? It was with light, yet sure-footed elegance that you led your Pokemon. Even I felt bedazzled by your masterful performance. You now stand at the glorious peak of the Pokemon League. I now proclaim you to be the new Hoenn region. Jeffrey, here's some advice before you challenge the champion. Uh, you're a little too late. I even gave you like two stinking years to catch up and yet I still got done before you showed up. Huh, what, what, what? Jeffrey, could it be that it's already over? See? What did I tell you, May? Didn't I tell you that you don't need to worry about Jeffrey? Jeffrey, you've finally done it! After two stinking years, you finally done it! You have no idea how long I've been waiting back at the Pedalberg Gym, waiting to get out of, like, closed game limbo or whatever the heck we go whenever you 
do a thing? I don't think I know, but we became the champion and now we're all happy and stuff. What what became of your Pokédex? Here, let me see. Hmm, so you've seen 150 Pokémon, or 153 Pokémon, and you caught 21. Some Pokémon only appear in certain areas. You must be persistent. Wow, that's a great way to end off the game. See, it's just such a weird final area. Like, the dialogue is weird, the characters are weird, I don't know. Jeffrey, no, let me rephrase that properly. The new champion! Come with me. Uh, just Jeffrey. Excuse you, May. From here on, only those trainers who have become champions may enter. <laughs> may enter? You'll have to wait outside with Professor Birch. Groan. I'm just joking, that's okay. That's the rule. Jeffrey, honestly, congratulations! This room. This is where we keep records of Pokémon that prevailed through harsh battles. It is here that the League Champions are honored. Come on, let's record your name as a trainer who triumphed over the Pokémon League, and the names of the partners who battled with you. Welcome to the Hall of Fame. We finally did it. But that's not all we have to do. Our journey here has only just begun. Oh boy, we're actually doing this. Pokemon Emerald is a very mixed game for me. I'm not the biggest fan of Generation 3. It was around the time where I was leaning towards Yu-Gi-Oh a lot more than Pokemon, like a lot of other people were back in the day. But that trend did not go over for very long. And yeah, this credit, credit sequence is kind of weird. You just have Pokemon pop up that you've caught in the Pokedex. So if you caught a bunch of Pokemon, it's cool. But for me, who only caught like the required ones, you get a lot of repeats. I don't know why Love Disc is in there. Oh yeah, because I want hard scales. But yeah, it's kind of a lame thing. There were just so many things that Omega Rupi and Alpha Sapphire improved on for the finale that I wanted to show off, and it has a really cool after game that I want to be able to show to all of you. I know a lot of people don't like Omega Rupi and Alpha Sapphire. Uh, they think it's a very watered down her -her, version of Generation 3, and for good reason. There are some things that are missing from uh, Omega Rupi and Alpha Sapphire, which is kind of weird that you would take stuff out of a remake, but for someone who doesn't personally like, uh, Generation 3, I actually had a more enjoyable time playing through Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire instead of uh, Pokemon Emerald. So, and I had to play through Emerald a lot now that I think about it. I played through Omega Ruby, I played through Alpha Sapphire once just when I got the game I played it through just because I got it as a new game I wanted to play it. And then I played through Emerald uh, through the, for the Let's Play, which was an experience to say the least. And then I had to delete my save file in Alpha Sapphire so that I could uh, get my team back up to the Elite Four Champion for the LP. So I played a lot of Stinking Generation 3 and I'm just ready to get the heck out of here, my Stinking God. I don't hate Gen 3, it's just that i have not the biggest fan of it in general and I've spent a lot of Stinking time here, a lot more than I thought I was going to, so... It's really Stinking something, to say the very least, so... Hopefully this uh, after game thing that I have playing out for you is going to be fun. It's not going to count as a brand new Let's Play like I said. Um, I'm going to have, this is sort of the beginning of this idea I have where I do Let's Plays that don't count towards the counter. So it's not a brand new Let's Play of its own, it's just a continuation of my Emerald Let's Play. So I believe Emerald is Let's Play number 35 if I'm correct. If I remember off the top of my head I'm really thinking nerdy. So it will be Let's Play number 35.5 instead of a brand new Let's Play. So that's how I just go about doing it. This is my channel, I can do whatever the heck I want and I could make all these weird rules and have them make sense and stuff. But yeah, basically what we're gonna be doing is going back and forth between the after game of Emerald and the after game of Alpha Sapphire because both of them have a lot of stuff to do in them and are both very different in general. I guess I could just tell you that going forward, there are not gonna be uh, Pokemon bios for any Pokemon besides Gen 3 ones like in the main Emerald LP. 
So we only have five more Pokemon bios to go, which is kind of awkward, but we'll get them done in due time. But for now, let's prepare for the road ahead. It's really weird to have a the end screen and not say sweet dreams, but that's what we're faced with right now. Next time on Pokemon Emerald, we're gonna return to our hometown and see what things have changed in the world we once traveled through. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night.